When we talk about normal bombs, often referred to as dumb bombs, they rely purely on gravity and the initial trajectory provided by the aircraft for targeting. This means that any deviation in the aircraft's speed, altitude, or angle can result in significant inaccuracy. On the other hand, guided bombs work by using advanced technology to guide themselves to their targets after being released from an aircraft. When an aircraft releases a glide bomb, it uses its wings to glide through the air, it doesn't fall straight down like a regular bomb. Inside the bomb, there is a system that combines GPS and INS, that helps it know exactly where it is and where it needs to go. These systems work together to guide the bomb accurately to the target, even if the target is far away. And today, we will compare these two guided munitions, India's Garav versus US's Joint Attack Munition JDOM. The Garav, it is an advanced long-range precision guided munition developed by India. It is designed to deliver a high explosive payload to distant targets with high accuracy. On the other hand, the Joint Direct Attack Munition JDOM is a guidance kit developed by the United States. JDOM is not a bomb itself but a kit that attaches to regular bombs, turning them into precision guided weapons. It has been widely used in conflicts around the world for its effectiveness and reliability. Let's talk about the dimensions first. The Garav is reported to be about 5.8 meters long and weighs approximately 1,000 kilograms. This size and weight allow it to carry a significant explosive payload while maintaining the capability to glide over long distances. In comparison, the JDAM's dimensions and weight can vary depending on the bomb it is attached to. However, the most commonly used bomb with the JDAM kit is the GBU-31 which is about 3.84 meters long and weighs approximately 907 kilograms. The JDOM kit itself extends the bomb's length slightly and adds about 227 kilograms to the total weight. Considering these differences, Garav's larger dimensions give it a slight edge in terms of payload capacity. When we talk about range, the Garav has an estimated range of about 100 kilometers, depending on the release altitude and speed of the aircraft. This long-range capability allows the bomb to glide towards its target from a significant distance, ensuring the safety of the aircraft that releases it. On the other hand, the JDOM has a slightly shorter range in its standard configuration, typically around 28 kilometers when released from high altitudes. However, with the JDOM ER kit, which includes deployable wings, the range can be extended up to 80 kilometers. Here, Garov's longer range provides a strategic advantage in standoff situations. When we talk about guidance systems, both the Garov and JDOM employ a GPS and INS-based terminal guidance system, which provides precise adjustments during the final phase of its flight. The combination of GPS and INS allows for high accuracy, but the system is primarily reliant on the initial targeting data and in-flight updates from GPS satellites. However, certain variants of JDOM, such as the laser JDOM, include a laser seeker that allows the bomb to make final adjustments by homing in on a laser designated target. Given these features, JDAM's laser guidance option provides an additional advantage in dynamic combat scenarios. Talking about accuracy, the Circular Error Probable CEP, which measures a bomb's accuracy, is a key indicator of how close to the intended target the bomb will strike. The Garav has a CEP of approximately 3 to 10 meters, reflecting its high precision. Similarly, the JDOM boasts a CEP of about 10 to 13 meters under optimal conditions. Certain JDOM variants, like the laser JDOM, can achieve even better precision, particularly against moving targets. In terms of accuracy, both systems are highly effective, but Garav's slightly lower CEP gives it a precision edge in static target engagement. Talking about the types of warheads, the Garav is designed to carry conventional warheads, which are optimized for different types of targets such as bunkers, buildings, or armored vehicles. These warheads can be high explosive or fragmentation types. Depending on the mission requirements, the bomb's design is versatile enough to be fitted with various conventional warheads to maximize its effectiveness against specific targets. Similarly, the JDOM is also primarily designed to carry conventional warheads, the most common warheads used with JDOM kits include general-purpose bombs like the Mark 84 High Explosive or Blue 109 Penetrator. The JDAM's modular nature allows it to be attached to different types of unguided bombs, converting them into precision-guided munitions. This adaptability means that JDOM can be used with a variety of warheads, depending on the mission needs. In terms of versatility, 
JDAM's modular design offers greater flexibility across different mission profiles. When we talk about the potential damage radius, the Garov, with its high explosive warhead, typically has a damage radius that can extend to several meters, potentially up to 100 meters depending on the target and surroundings. On the other hand, the JDAM, particularly when paired with a Mark 84 warhead, has a damage radius of approximately 200 meters. This larger radius is due to the powerful explosive charge of the Mark 84 bomb, which can cause extensive damage over a wide area. Therefore, JDAM's larger damage radius makes it more effective in broader target engagement scenarios. Coming to aerodynamics, the Gara features a large wingspan that allows it to glide over long distances, increasing lift and stability, making it ideal for strikes from a safe distance. This design lets the bomb stay airborne longer, covering more ground without propulsion. On the other hand, the JDAM typically uses a tail fin assembly for guidance, with an option for a JDAM ER version that includes deployable wings to extend its range. While Garov focuses on extended gliding, JDAM primarily relies on fin stabilization, with its aerodynamic design centered around stability during descent. Given these features, the Garov has the advantage in terms of range and glide capability. When we talk about the types of aircraft that can carry these bombs, the Garov can be carried by a variety of Indian Air Force aircraft, including the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI and the Mirage 2000. These aircraft are equipped with the necessary hardpoints and avionics to integrate with and deploy the Garov effectively. On the other hand, the JDAM is highly versatile and can be carried by fighter jets like the F-15 Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, F-A-18 Hornet, and bombers like the B-52 Stratofortress and B-2 Spirit. The JDAM is also compatible with many other aircraft used by NATO and Allied Air Forces, thanks to its standardized design. Due to this broad compatibility, JDAM has the advantage in terms of integration across different platforms. Talking about costs, the Garav is an indigenous weapon developed by India, and its estimated cost is not publicly disclosed in detail. However, as an indigenously produced weapon system, it is generally expected to be more cost-effective compared to imported weapons. On the other hand, the JDAM has a well-documented cost. The unit cost for a JDAM kit is approximately $25,000 to $30,000. This cost does not include the bomb itself, which is typically a Mark 80 series bomb. When combined, the total cost of a JDAM equipped bomb can range from $70,000 to $100,000 depending on the specific configuration and the bomb type used. Given the lower overall costs and proven efficacy, JDAM offers a more cost-efficient solution. In conclusion, the Garav and JDAM represent significant advancements in precision-guided munitions, each tailored to the specific needs of their respective militaries. Both systems underscore the importance of precision, safety, and adaptability in modern warfare, ensuring effective target engagement with minimal collateral damage. Which one do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.